<laughs> hey fellas, you guys want to check in on the farm report? You guys any words you want to pass on to everybody? What do you get to say? Huh? It's kind of hot today for September, isn't it? Yep. Hey YouTube, so this is going to be another farm report for you for this week. Uh, we're going to be pulling some corn. We're going to be pulling all the corn except for the gym corn. We still have the gym corn growing. Uh, we're going to pull the rest of it, see what we got. We got some inserts here of the stuff we got the rest of the week as we've been pulling cucumbers and squash out for the week uh, and uh, corn and all kinds of good stuff. It's been a pretty good year, it's better than... Oh, we expected. Uh, we've still got to wait and see what's going to happen with the pumpkin. But uh, we're getting close for some of those pumpkins to be uh, set aside as well. So let's go check some stuff out. So I got my trusty bucket. We're going to go back through here. The gym corn's looking pretty good. We were showing tassels and everything last week and ears coming in. Whatnot. So we still got some time to wait on this though. What were you at there? Get in the picture. All right, when I stop doing this in such a low light, here's the stuff we're gonna be pulling off here. Oh yeah. Pretty sure that's where the term eating like a pig came from, right? It definitely looks like it, huh? Huh, buddy? All right, so we got a bucket full today. We'll take that. And again, we still got, this is all the gym corn that we had down here in the, in the darker green stuff before. So we're hoping this does well we shall see how this turns out pumpkin update <coughs> we still got tons of pumpkin we're gonna be having a lot of feed for the animals and probably enough for rebel solutions to even come and get a pumpkin They're definitely growing good and strong. And we're gonna be, uh, I was informed that uh, you put a pumpkin aside and take it off, uh, you, they'll last through the winter in a good dry storage. So a lot of it can be set aside for the animals and whatnot. There's a nice big one there. We're definitely going to be hiding some monsters in here amongst all this. It looks like when it's all said and done, we're going to be coming out of the woodwork. See a critter got, got this one. So still going strong down here. We got some new ones still starting. We did prune back a little bit, took out some of this stuff is starting to dead growth, trying to figure out if it's getting chewed up by something or what the deal is. But we thinned some of it out, looked around, um, but trying to lighten the 
load on the plant if we can and keep the keep them growing strong really seeing this year be a good you know seeing what uh what grows good and best and what we need to focus on in future years these guys might be getting close to maxed out they're a little meant to be little Our big max pumpkins are orange and up. Don't know if we're gonna get more than three of these out of these or not. These are doing really good, but they're not producing any uh, other offshoots. All the other, anything offshoot or anything isn't uh, developing. So maybe that's, max output this one plant we already got two plants here so that one plant has got those three this one's been the slacker we had the one that was on the very end down here that uh, got chewed up a little bit but it hasn't produced anything else yet I guess keywords yet we'll see I guess Down here, buddy. This is the one that was upside down last week. All right. All right. Down to the cucumbers. Oh, there's one ready for today. Pulled several cucumbers this week. Get this guy out of here. All right, There's one cucumber for today. That feller going. All right, there's one one cucumber for today. <clears throat> What's that funny looking, funny sounding name, pumpkin? <laughs> All right, pretty good, pretty good. We haven't pulled a zucchini in a while, but we got a couple growing. Oh, there's, oh, these guys are ready right here. There we go, two more for today. Nice. Gonna start getting some of these in the freezer. So look, we got at least one more starting. Two down, one down there. Might get four or five more out of this. <clears throat> Boom. Nice. Some more squash over here. These guys are all just waiting. <clears throat> oh, my other squash plant looks like this one down here. Almost ready. A little small. Got three more developing there on the squash. This guy's starting to produce one. All right, all right. Happy times are here. All right, there you go. Bucket full of food. Can't go wrong. Pulling a bucket full of food out. All right. Checking in over here on our tomatoes. It looks like we may actually have some fruit starting. So maybe just a little impatient with them. So we do have some possibilities popping up on here. Um, 
people would comment on a couple of videos back about the water situation and stuff like yeah that was one of the big concerns that the water wasn't uh, maybe enough for them or something it choked out but we got a lot of pumpkin back and whatnot and hopefully uh, <clears throat> these guys are gonna have tomatoes soon um, This guy over here doesn't seem to have any on him, but at least we got one plant showing promise compared to what we had seen earlier. All right, folks, that's kind of the garden update. Let's get out of the way of the water. Um, Thanks for all the comments and everything, everybody checking in. Um, we might have to do a after action at the end of uh, the year, put all the thoughts together, but we still gotta look at uh, if we're gonna do what kind of uh, cover crop or winter crop we're gonna do, um, any roots we can grow in the winter, stuff like that. We still gotta do, we get to work on that stuff. So um, the work's not gonna stop. There's a couple guys I didn't talk about. Where are they at? that pumpkin at where are you hiding oh there he is right in there somebody hiding he's got a buddy with him too so there's like one everywhere you look you just miss more that's a good thing right you have to search to get your food so that's going well it's all going well with the garden um, we have got to get to harvesting some animals uh, sooner rather than later we got to Put some meat in the freezer with them because we're getting overpopulated <laughs> you know what i mean but we'll see how that goes uh we won't we won't do a live stream of that <laughs> but uh we'll get a poundage wait for everybody and see how much meat we get especially off the pig and uh whatnot mm -hmm.